Hey folks, welcome back to another video. In the previous video, we looked at uh, make a suite and all the different types of chat prompts or different types of prompts it provides, such as the uh, chat prompts that we looked at. Then we looked at something called data prompt and then we looked at something called chat prompt and we looked at different examples and stuff like that. In this video, we're going to be taking things to the next level by combining the Palm API with Google Apps Script to pass prompts from your Google Apps Script editor and get a reply. So um, the first step that would be for you is to get the API key. So go to the get API key section here and I've already created one here. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that one for now. And um, you can either create it in a new existing project or you can create it in, a, in an existing project or you can create an API key in a new project. So I'm going to click on create API key in a new project and in a few seconds your API key will be ready and good to go. And here you can see the API key has been generated so I'll just go ahead and click on copy and you're all set and good to go. I'm going to go to my Google Apps Script dashboard and to go to that you can just type in script.google.com and you'll reach there. So once we are here, I'm going to click on create a new project here and in a few seconds a new Google Apps Script project will be ready. I'm just going to clear this out. I'll be leaving the code link in the description if you want to directly jump to that and you can just copy the code and get started with it. So I'm going to be giving a function name to this saying get palm data. And it's not a good name, but I think that's what I that that's what comes to the top of my head. And um, after this, I'm going to be doing something called declaring the API key here. I'm going to do API key, and I'm going to paste in the API key that we just copied right now. After this, I'm going to be declaring the API URL that we're going to be using, and I'm um, just going to go and copy this from another place. And this is the API URL or that's the endpoint as to which we have to reach here. And after this, I'm going to be doing a variable, a variable URL. And inside this, I'm going to be having the API URL plus the key that's going to be there. So I'm going to do question mark key equal to, and then I'm going to add a plus sign and add it to the API key that we have. So once we're done with this, let's just go ahead and declare the headers. For this one and um, here I'm going to be having the content type and this one is going to be same as how we are done for the uh, open AI API it's going to be application slash JSON and after this I'm going to be declaring the prompt that we have here so I'm going to do variable prompt and um, inside this, I'm going to be having my text prompt here. So I'm going to do text and I'm just going to give it the same one that we did. Write a story about a magic backpack. And once we're done with this, I'm going to add a semicolon here. I'm going to move forward. And here I'm going to be doing variable request body. It's going to be there. And here I'm going to be having my prompt. And that's going to be equal to the prompt and after this we'll be declaring our options that's going to be there that we'll be passing into the api endpoint so it's going to be method is going to be of course it's going to be post so i'm going to add a comma then i'm going to be specifying the headers so once again it's going to be headers after this we'll be having the payload and in the payload, I'm going to be doing JSON stringify, and inside this, I'm going to be having the request body that we have here. And once we are done with this, we're going to be going to our variable response. I'm going to be doing URL fetch app, fetch. and inside this, I'm going to be fetching the URL that we just uh, generated about, and I'll be passing the options here. And once we have a response from there, I want to get back some data, so I want JSON dot parse. And inside this, I want to do response dot get content text. And once we are done with this, I'm not going to do much. I'm just going to do a logger dot log and we're going to say data. Our code is ready and good to go. So you can see in just 30 lines of code using the API key that Palm, um, the API key from the Palm API, you can uh, send prompts from your Google Apps Script editor. So I'm just going to do Palm. API and Google Apps Script. I'm going to click on rename 
And once I'm done with this, I think I'm going to go ahead and click on run. And the first thing you have to do is accept the permission. So go here, click on your email address and go to advanced, go to the project, click on allow. And here you can see on successful execution, it gives me an entire story about the magic backpack that we told it to generate for. And here you can see the entire story has been generated successfully here using the Palm API and Google Apps Script. So this is how we can use Google Apps Script and the Palm API to pass prompts from your Google Apps Script editor and you can get your get responses successfully. So this is where we come to an end for this tutorial series of getting started with Palm 2. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial series and um, if you haven't watched the previous videos, I'll be leaving the playlist link in the description and check that out. And um, if you like this series, um, I love your feedback. Just don't forget to click like and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.